In today's video, we're going to talk about the way the U.S. consulate are prioritizing immigrant visas. Uh, there was update on NVC website uh, regarding that on uh, August uh, 31st. Well, you can check it out. But if it's something uh, you're interested in, well, just stay tuned and I'll be right back. USA Mundo good morning good morning my beautiful people this is john from usa mondon welcome back and thanks for watching if it's your first time on my channel as always welcome here my goal is to help newcomers and permanent residents and also u.s citizens regarding the immigration questions sometimes uh, we talk about different topics and also i give advice to newcomers to the united states of america so they can stay out of trouble but today's video like i say in the introduction is about the way the U.S. consulate are prioritizing immigrant visas, okay? I know some of you guys uh, petition for your relative. You've been waiting for any of your appointment letter for so long. Maybe you've been waiting for a year, two years, three years, even more. Well, the reason why you didn't get any of your appointment letter yet is just because of the way the U.S. consulate are prioritizing immigrant visas um, appointment now okay there's nothing wrong with your case if something's wrong with your case guess what nvc national visa center will uh, let you know but i don't think something's wrong with your case so the u.s consulate are prioritizing immigrant visas uh, appointment um, based on the group you belong to because they divide the immigrant visa in four groups okay they have a tier one tier two tier three and tier four and then i'm gonna go over those on tier so tier one is basically for cases uh, like adoption cases uh, where you uh, as a citizen or uh, you know adopt a child overseas those cases are on top of the priority list uh, cases for certain immigrant uh, visa applicant like uh, uh, you know, Afghan citizen or Iraqi citizen who help the U.S. government on uh, there. Uh, those people uh, are on top of the priority list. And also, we have cases for children who are going to age out. You know, they're going to turn 21. They won't be uh, eligible to get immigrant visa to come to the United States of America. Those uh, cases are on top of the uh, priority list. Uh, and also, uh, emergency cases like maybe you expedite uh, your case. Uh, because uh, the, your relative is in a life and death uh, situation. Well, those cases are on top of the priority list, okay? So now, tier two. Tier two is for immediate relative, okay? Uh, by immediate relative, I'm talking about uh, spouse of U.S. citizen, uh, children under age of U.S. citizens, parent of U.S. citizens. Those are immediate relative. And also, fiancé of uh, U.S. citizen. Fiancé of U.S. citizen, those are, are in tier two. And on top of that, we have... Uh, uh, they call it a returning resident on uh, visas uh, applicant or uh, those are people who lost their uh, uh, green card because uh, they left the country they stay uh, outside United States of America for uh, so long or uh, maybe beyond the validity period of the reentry permit those people are in tier 2 now we talk about tier 3 too. tier 3 is basically you know, family preferences immigrant visa and uh, special immigrant visa for certain employees of the US government uh, abroad so uh, family preferences on uh, visa category is basically like F1 category F2A F2B F3 category F4 category those uh, uh, and also like I say they say over here on uh, certain uh, immigrant uh, visa applicant uh, who uh, work for US government overseas those are in uh, uh, tier 3 categories okay and then tier 4 category is for all other immigrant visa applicant okay including uh, employment uh, preference and uh, diversity visas so uh, people who are let's say uh, workers or uh, skilled workers or professional or who want to come to the United States of America on, on the, those immigrant visa and also people who want a lower visa on diversity visa well those people are in tier 4 on the bottom of the priority list so you know it's gonna take a little while before on the u.s consulate on schedule any of your appointment for those people but they do schedule any of your appointment for those people so basically those are the four tiers on, on the u.s consulate on, 
uh, you know, are based on before you know, they can schedule any of you uh, appointment uh, for your relative okay so at this point uh, if you've been waiting for any of your appointment like i always tell you guys you just have to be uh, patient there is uh, nothing you can do here and some people for example let's say two people you know live in the same country and um, they are in the same visa category let's say in uh, tier two category like an uh, ir1 uh, visa category well the u.s consulate will schedule any of your appointment uh, based on when uh, the case uh, are documentary qualify okay if uh, one person's case is documentary qualify in january what well, in the other one uh, is uh, in february the, f the one uh, whose case was documentary qualify in january will get an interview appointment letter first but now if it's like two different countries it will depend on how many people apply for the same uh, uh, immigrant visa in that country so it can be somebody whose uh, case is documented to qualify in january and uh, can uh, have the interview appointment uh, schedule after somebody whose uh, case uh, is uh, documented to qualify in march because like again it depends on how many people apply for the same visa category so don't hear somebody saying that okay i'm in this country my case was documented to qualify in january i already got an interview appointment letter why while you are waiting for your interview appointment letter knowing that your case is documented to qualify before uh, that person so it doesn't work like that okay so basically that's all uh, i want to talk about today uh, you know if you have any question you know you know what you do you can leave me uh, a comment in the description uh, below that's it for today's video i hope you guys love it learn something from me if you know somebody you think might benefit from the video well share the video with that person if you are new here you like what you see or uh, you've been watching my video you never subscribe well you know what you do you can click on the bell you know to get a new uh, video every time i have an uh, upload video or you can click on the subscribe buttons to subscribe to this channel if you want to support this channel we also have a usa mono shop you know, the link uh, is in the description below once again my name is john thanks for watching and i talk to you guys in the next video usa mondo